okay so we have <coughs> successfully created a crystal report named cr1 and now we have to display it on to our form okay and uh, in order to display this report uh, on to our form we will have to use a crystal report viewer and you can find it easily in your toolbox uh, in the reporting section but here you can see that uh, the crystal report viewer one is not being shown here the reason is that uh, our targeted net framework uh, might be below uh, than four that we have selected or it might be of client profile so uh, we have to deal with this problem just uh, click on the project and uh, go to the properties and here you can see that targeted net framework is actually dot net framework for client profile just click on this arrow and change the dot net uh, framework uh, for client profile to dot net framework for just click it and uh, this message will be pop up just click yes and uh, it will select the target framework as dot net net framework for and uh, just pause it and uh, if you go to toolbox again and uh, look in the reporting section you can see a crystal report viewer just select it and uh, drop it into your form okay uh, let's resize uh, our form so this crystal report viewer will be used and uh, to display our crystal report that we have created and uh, uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to type the code that will attach this crystal report one to this crystal report viewer so uh, in order to do that uh, just uh, double click on your form one and it will generate an on form load event so inside this formal load event we will type the code that will uh, make it that will actually loads this uh, report onto this form whenever we will load this form one and uh, you can also uh, write the code behind a buttons on click event we will see that later uh, uh, till for now uh, just go to your form form one load event and type the following code first of all we will create an object of report document uh, so just type report document and uh, create an object of report document and uh, equals to new report document and uh, the error will be shown because we haven't included the namespace so just uh, drag your cursor right before the word and uh, click on this icon and uh, on clicking it you will see using crystal decisions dot crystal report dot engine just click on it and it will add this, this namespace here okay now what we have to do is we have to uh, actually load our report into this rdc so type rdc dot load and uh, the brackets and here we have to type the address of our report uh, if you go to your solution explorer you can see that we have a folder named reports and inside that report we have crystal report one so just type here the address into double creation marks and uh, we will type reports the name of our folder and uh, okay we will type and uh, just remove this bracket uh, slash and we will put at the rate of sign here so what we, it will do is it will go to this reports folder and it will load this cr1.rpt report into this report document and uh, what we have to do is we have to and uh, uh, since we have uh, loaded our report into report document now we will attach it to our crystal report viewer that's that has a name crystal report viewer one so just select it and just type it crystal report viewer one dot type report source and provide the source that is the RDC object and just click save uh, we will save it okay uh, let's run this one just um, press control f5 or just click on start button and it will build our project 
And let's see if it displays the result into our report or not. You can see that it uh, is actually displaying an error, an error that says load report failed. The reason is that uh, just quit it and uh, I'll show you the reason. Just go to your solution explorer and, uh, and just go to your reports folder and select the report that you have created and right click on it. Go to the properties of your report and we have to change this directory to copy to output directory and we will change do not copy to copy always and now if you save it and uh, if you rebuild your project or just simply build it now the uh, report will be shown without any error here you can see the report this, is, this was the data that we have actually stored in our data table and it is shown right onto the report okay just close it and uh, go back to our code so this was the simplest code uh, that that directly displays the data of the uh, database uh, or data table directly to on our report now what if we have to uh, use store procedures uh, that uh, since we have created a uh, store procedure now we will use it to display the data on our onto our form so we will just comment this code and uh, we will go to the design of our form and we will we will drag and drop a button onto our form and whenever we click on this button then uh, whenever we click on this button it will display the data from the database onto our report viewer onto our form using the store procedure uh, I'll just change the properties some properties of our button like text to show data and uh, I'll change the name as well show button ok now if we will click on the events button and uh, just generate an on click event for this button now we will type the code here but uh, before doing that we have to add connection of that database into our application and uh, just uh, go to your server explorer click on add connection actually I have already added the connection but uh, I'll show you how to add a new connection just click on server name this arrow and uh, your server name will be shown here if it doesn't uh, you know how to find the server name and just select your database name that was sample db click on ok and uh, right here it will add a connection for us I delete the previously added one yes ok now if you go to the properties of your connection you can see the connection string right here just copy it and we will uh, first of all store this connection string into our app.configure file so uh, go to solution explorer double click on app.configure file I will quickly show you how to add your actually include your connection string in app.configure file just type the following code connection strings closing bracket add <coughs> name would be the connection string and uh, the provider name will be system dot data dot sql client and uh, the connection string itself was this one and this is how uh, we can uh, include our connection string in app.configure file now we have to drive it from the app.configure file so first of all we have to add a namespace called using system dot configuration and uh, actually it okay let me show you just uh, type the following code here we will declare a string connection string named it as connection string equals to okay system dot configuration dot 
configuration manager capital C dot connection strings okay it is not the intelli intelligence is not showing anything because of uh, the namespace is not added properly just go to your solution explorer click uh, right click on references add a reference and uh, this reference would be located in the framework just click select framework and uh, let it load the references so from the list of these, uh, these references select uh, uh, so just check the system dot configuration and click OK. And now, if you type the code, it will show. It. Okay, connection strings. And here we have to type the name of our connection string. That was connection string dot connection string. Okay. Now we have. Uh, successfully drive our connection string into this string named connect string just copy that name since we are using it we will create objects of uh, SQL connection and SQL data adapter and SQL command so type SQL connection connection and uh, SQL command and object would be the command sql data adopter d adopter and a data table as well d table okay you may be wondering why it is showing error because we haven't included the namespace that is using system dot data dot sql client as soon as you includes the namespace it will uh, actually makes it makes errors vanishes away just change the name okay we have to actually declare all these things inside this class that is of our form just paste it right here now you can see that it is not showing any kind of errors now we will type the following code into our buttons on click event type using connection equals to new SQL connection and uh, here type the name of the string that contains our connection string so that was a connection string okay now we will use the object of data adapter that was the adapter equals to new SQL data adapter and we have to provide two parameters here the first one is the name of our store procedure that was show all data we can go back to our SQL server and uh, from the programmability store procedures get all data was the name of our store procedure so just change the name get all data and if the first one is the name of the store procedure and second one would be the connection object SQL connection object that was named as connection and uh, now we have to specify the type of command we are using and uh, since we are using store procedures so we, we have to type the following command to make the store procedure work type d adapter dot select command dot command type equals to command type dot store procedure okay okay now we will create and create we will now create the data table subject so, so we will type dt d table equals to new data table and uh, we will have to fill the data adapter using data adapter dot fill command and we will fill that the data of data adapter into our data table so type d table and it will fill the data into our data table now what we have to do is we have to type these commands that is okay first of all we will create an instance an object of report document report document rdc equals to new report document and we will load our 
report uh, we will wrote our report into this report documents object so type rdc dot load and uh, here we have to provide the address that is at the rate of reports slash CRM just copy it from here copy it and paste it as it is so it will load the report that was CR1 into our RDC object now we have to specify the data source for that RDC so just type RDC dot set data source equals to data table D table and it will it will have to be the other way uh, it has to be like this way okay set uh, data source uh, as data table and uh, the last thing would be the process of uh, attaching our crystal report to the crystal report viewer so type crystal report viewer one dot report source and uh, our report source is rdc okay refresh report not refresh report actually that was report source it's rdc okay just save it and uh, now if we if we build our project and uh, execute it it will show the error and uh, i will tell you how to fix that error just let me show you the error just build your project click on start and it will build the project for us okay this is the error that will be shown if you try to execute this code and uh, the reason is that we have to okay uh, <laughs> uh, there is a problem in our uh, connection strings name just stop it and uh, let's change the name actually the name contains double n not single n connection string okay, save it and execute it again so here you can see that it is now showing data on clicking the show data button now it will take uh, some time uh, okay you can see the request report tutorials our actually our application has stopped working so just cancel it close this one okay we have closed it and now i'll tell you the fix uh, how to fix this problem just uh, go to your app.configure file and uh, here in the startup tag <coughs> simply type use we will type use legacy l e g a c y legacy v2 runtime activation activation policy p o l i c y and we will type true okay now you have to type this this whole code into the startup tag and just save it close it and now if we will build our project it will work this time just click on show data and it will show show data using the store procedure okay on clicking this show data it will show the data now if we go back to our code let me explain it again back to you we have uh, actually create, uh, created a connections object right here you can see the connections the SQL connection object we have passed the connection string that we have retrieved from the app.configure file into this connection string and after that we have uh, created an object of data adapter and uh, provided him to provided two parameters to it first one is the name of our store procedure and uh, the connection object was the second object okay second parameter now uh, what we have to do is we have uh, we have uh, mentioned the command type that we have selected as the command type dot store procedure to uh, to tell that uh, we are using store procedure and we have created a data table and then we have um, we have filled it uh, filled the data table using the data adapter dot fill command and uh, we have then created report document and we have loaded the report and the most important thing here was the we have set the data source for this rdc 
report document object as a data table and uh, after that we have just simply attached the report that we have created to Kistler report viewer one so this is how we can actually um, use uh, store procedures to display our uh, data from the database into our crystal reports.